Once upon a time, off the coast of Mexico, there was a reef so spectacular in rich sea life that ocean explorer Jacques Cousteau called it the Aquarium of the World. Every day, a fisherman called Jesus Castro took his little boat out to the reef and brought home a bounty of riches from the sea. The ocean's abundance never ceased to amaze him. When his son Enrique was old enough, he also began to fish. More boats joined, bigger boats. They could scoop up more sea treasures to sell to the rest of the world. By the time Enrique's sons began fishing, the sea abundance was waning. Less fish took the bait. Sharks became fewer and fewer. Enrique and his sons were forced to go further out for longer stretches of time to get their catch. It was a perilous journey that was often unfruitful. Every day, Enrique's daughter watched from the shore, gazing at the horizon, praying for their safe return. But her father and brothers took longer and longer to return. And when they did, they were exhausted and often empty-handed. Something had to be done. The Castros, who knew the reef better than anyone, held a family meeting. One idea was to stop fishing altogether. But what would happen to their livelihood? Fishing had been the Castro's way of life for generations. And yet, they agreed it was the only way to save the reef. The Castro family convinced the community and then the government to suspend all fishing in the area and to make Cabo Pomo a protected marine park. It took years of dedication and uncertainty during which no one fished in Cabo Pomo. But then the miracle happened. The fish reappeared on the reef and a new story was written in Cabo Pomo, one of hope and legacy. Cherik, my son. I was that little girl waiting on the shore for her father, and it was our family who convinced the community that we needed to sacrifice our jobs so that the reef of Cabo Pulmo would have a chance for life. As the reef resuscitated and the fish replenished Cabo Pulmo, you came into this world, my love. Our marine park is not only the richest playground imaginable for you and the other children in Cabo Pulmo, it is also your most valuable legacy. Watching you live with joy towards the ocean every day has made all our sacrifice and efforts worth it. You seem so eager to discover the uncharted secrets of the sea. Keep your eyes wide open, my boy. When you enter the ocean, surprises can come from all angles. Feel the magic. Nowhere else on the planet will you ever experience such proximity to creatures this wild and free. These fish have found shelter in our waters. They are your most precious legacy as long as they are alive and protected. The most fascinating encounters await you right at our doorstep. From playful sea lions to graceful whale sharks, our marine park in Cabo Pulmo is a cornucopia of marine life. 
No one owns the treasure of Cabo Pulmo. We share it and benefit from it. Your uncles were fishermen. They have become conservationists and tourist operators. Passionate divers come from all over the world to visit our protected reef. Giving up fishing for ecotourism has brought hope to our community. It has brought more training and education so that today we adults have the tools to better teach you how to take care of the fish and the sharks. The story of Cabo Pulmo has become more than a beautiful tale. It has become a model. The message is spreading. A shark alive is infinitely more valuable than a dead shark. That's hope. For now, my love, go out there and spend time with your uncle. No one knows the sea better than he does. Today, when I see the boat of your uncle loaded with divers, I have trust. There is hope for the fish, the sharks, and for your future on this beautiful planet. There is hope because each one of us still has the power to make a choice, to make a difference. Conservation and education efforts taking place in the small community of Cabo Pomo are a source of inspiration and hope, not just nationally, but globally. The people took their ocean back, replaced the fishing with ecotourism. Although the community and the environment have been recently thriving, Cabo Pomo remains fragile, and the Castro family continues to work against new threats of massive coastal tourism and real estate development. The living ocean is their bank, their treasure, and their hope. We need to scale up internationally and create more communities like Cabo Pomo. Our children have a fundamental right, the right to demand that we, adults, provide the healthy, diverse, and sustainable environment for their future. It's not too late to turn things around. We just need to make a choice, the choice to truly reconnect to our very blue planet give a chance to our children and the other living creatures on this planet. <laughs>